Our final story is called Mr. Men and Little Miss Winter Wonderland, written by the same artists. Mr. Tickle was in a hurry. He was in such a hurry that he had breakfast and made his bed all at the same time. This is the sort of thing you can only do when you have arms as long as Mr. Tickle's extraordinary long arms. He was in a hurry because it was the day of the Winter Wonderland Christmas Fair, and Mr. Tickle left visiting the Christmas Fair each year. It was very busy at the fair. There were crowds of people. Crowds of people for Mr. Tickle to tickle. Which was why Mr. Tickle loved going to the Christmas fair. There were lots of stalls at the fair selling everything you could ever want for the perfect Christmas. There was a tree decoration stall and a toy stall and a cake stall and a pudding stall. There was even a stocking stall. Miss Christmas's Christmas stockings. Silly old Mr. Silly. There was ice skating on the frozen pond. Look out, Mr. Bump. Look out, Mrs. Whoops. Look out, Mr. Clumsy. Crash. There were reindeer rides. Mr. Muddle was in his usual muddle. Poor old Rudolph. He did not. He didn't know whether he was going, coming or going. There were sleigh rides through the snowy woods. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. And there was Santa's Grotto. Father Christmas had flown in from the North Pole with a huge sack full of presents. Mr. Bounce couldn't stay still lo long enough to tell Father Christmas what he wanted for Christmas. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Now where to start, thought Mr. Tickle. Mr. Greedy was standing at festive treat stall, busily buying gingerbread men and candy canes. Loads of them. In fact, all of them. All of them. Mr. Tickle reached out his extraordinary long arm and tickled Mr. Greedy. But nothing happened. Mr. Greedy did not leap up in surprise. He did not roll around on the ground laughing. He did not react at all. Mr. Tickle was very puzzled. Mr. Tickle walked over to the Ferris wheel. Mr. Dizzy was going round and round, getting even more dizzy than usual. Mr. Tickle reached up one of his very long arms and tickled Mr. Dizzy. But it was just the same when he had tried to tickle Mr. Greedy. Nothing happened. Mr. Tickle tried tickling the carol singers. Nothing. He tried to tickle the toffee apple seller. Nothing. No tickles to speak of. A complete lack of tickles, in fact. A tickless day. Poor Mr. Tickle. Whatever could be wrong. He had lost his tickleness. Tickliness. Then Mr. Tickle had a thought. He looked all long, long way along his extraordinary long arm to his hands. Hands were in gloves. Gloves! Of course, exclaimed Mr. Tickle, and with a large grin, he took off his gloves and reached out one of his, those extraordinary long arms and tickled. Now, who do you think he tickled? I'll give you a clue. He is very jolly. That's right, Father Christmas. He he he, chuckled Father Christmas. Ha ha ha, laughed Father Christmas. And then finally, Ho, 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 boomed Father Christmas. Time for our animal fact once again. <laughs>